Hey YouTube. Um, what I've got here is a 555 timer. So there it is there, 555 timer. And then it goes to this, which is just a bunch of transistors to boost up the signal. Which then goes to one, one MOSFET there. And into my primary coil of my Tesla coil. And a lot of people say you can't make a solid state Tesla coil with a 555 timer chip. But that's not true because, well, it works. Um, not much output, although it's only running from 12 volts on a single MOSFET, so that's probably why there isn't much output. So I'll just connect the power supply, nothing, and then the, the um, there it is there. Quite a good little arc. Yeah, it's only doing this lately. I changed the setup a little bit and now the arc goes out whenever you touch it. It didn't used to. But yeah, you have to touch the antenna. The antenna's just connected to pin 5. There it is here, just... It doesn't work when it's close to the actual coil. Or maybe it does. Arcs get a little smaller though. The further away it is, the better. I'm just touching it right now. doesn't work there. I can tune it to work there and the arcs are more stable but they're not as big. Not a very big output, but like I said, it's only running from one MOSFET at 12 volts. So that would be why the output kind of sucks. But seeming these 555s do a full wave sort of output, um, I'll probably try and make some sort of half bridge connected to it, but that MOSFET's dead. I was running this circuit off the, um, where is it? Here it is. CD, CD4046. But, unfortunately, the antenna wire on it touched the, the, um, main power supply, and blue to chip up. So it sucks. Um here's another little thing I made. These are just optocouplers, it's a little optocoupler board that I made. So yeah, it's pretty cool. This is my 
pickaxe 18 m2 um, yeah that's a lot of fun to muck around with but it gets a bit boring after a while so you can see I've been a bit busy but um yeah thanks for watching